Hello all and welcome and I am the MGTOW Philosopher and in this video I would like to talk about a very disturbed woman running for public office and she says that do you want to end sexual harassment? AG Hopeful says elect a candidate who doesn't have a penis and the demonation of men just keeps on rolling on. Yeah, isn't that great? Isn't that a great message to send? Oh, no, there's just not evil people in the world. You, you can't send the message that both men and women are equally capable of evil, which is probably the only area that they are equal in, is their capacity to do evil, which you might argue that women have more of a capability to do that now because they have so tilted the system in their favor that they can get away literally with murder and just walk away. So the message is being sent that they can do whatever they want and there's no consequences to their actions. So in today's day and age, women are actually more evil than men. But oh no, we have to continue to send that message that men are evil demons so we can continue to grab power for ourselves and justify our demonization of them and are reducing them in their role in controlling the society, the government, the culture. So let's get to the heart of this story, shall we? Let's see if it's total nonsense. And we already know it's total nonsense just by this headline. So, one candidate's idea to eliminate sexual harassment in the workplace would be to elect women only. How many times have I told you guys that the left, that women will use any and every means at their disposal to get men out of public office? They want to stack, stack the political roles, the political jobs, the elected positions that have the most influence in society. Attorney General, who can you trust most not to show you their penis in a professional setting? I don't know who, who can you trust most to educate your children without having sex with all their male students? Not women. Don't hire women to be school teachers because, well, my vagina. So let me get this straight. So by her logic, all men, because some handful of men abuse their power, some leftists, by the way, male feminists in Hollywood abuse their power. Now all men are evil, of course, and rapists, which is something they've been saying for the past 30, 40 years anyway. So we need to get men out of positions of power and put women all into power, even though when we put women into power, they abuse men equally or more, especially if they're in power... Uh, in charge of, in a position of power over young boys, which you could argue is why there's so many women in positions of teaching to begin with, because they all want to have sex with young boys. Oh, but we can't argue that. We can't say, eh, want to stop teachers from having sex with their young students? Don't hire a vagina. <laughs> Don't hire somebody with a vagina. Oh, no, we can't say that, though. That would be so politically incorrect. That would be outside of the boundaries of the narrative, even though it's overwhelmingly women who have sex with youngsters, not men, and they rape men more. But, oh, we can't talk about that. Oh, no. Yes, that would be a candidate who doesn't have a penis, said Dana Nessel, who was a moron, clearly, who was hoping to be nominated as the Democratic candidate for Michigan's attorney, Michigan's attorney general. Yeah, we want to hire somebody who is so indoctrinated into leftist BS and so divorced from reality that she actually believes that all men are rapist, sexist, misogynistic scum. Yeah, isn't that who you want as an attorney general? By the way, don't we have enough attorney generals <laughs> like that already? Look at the justice system at the way it's tilted against men. That's what we've got already. It's because of these bullshit narratives. Fed up with allegations of sexual harassment in the workplace? Jeez, I don't know. I'm fed up with the false rape allegations from women. And they're bullshit. It's only 3% of rape allegations. That number just came from nowhere. They just pulled that number out of their ass. I have seen evidence. I have seen cities where it's 41%. I've seen the minimum is 21%. Overall average. Well, all the numbers are added up and averaged out. At least 21%. So don't tell me there's three fucking percent. Oh, but we're going to do that because we'll just make up any number we fucking want and because we want to believe it. And, you know, that's what we'll believe because, you know, we're indoctrinated and we just believe what we want to because it makes us feel good. 
Oh, really? Fed up with allegations of sexual assault in the workplace, Nestle noted that most of the perpetrators are men. Uh, really? Saying sex scandals rarely ever involve women. Uh-huh. And that's your data point, that you rarely see this stuff show up on the news talking about women. Uh, what about all of those again and again and again? Every I see these stories popping up every day about female teachers raping their students. What about that? Oh, that's not a scandal. Yeah, because the media isn't focusing on it. So the media, which is the left, isn't focusing on the horrendous rapes that women, grown women, perpetrate against young boys, which is much worse than offering some broad $20 million to suck your cock so she can get a movie role and make 20 million bucks. Huh, gee, that's not as bad. Yeah, banging your 12, 13-year-old students. Oh, that's not nearly as bad as a grown woman consenting to sex in exchange for $20 million. <sighs> if you get more women in office, you get more women in positions of authority. And by the way, just because you don't hear about it, how many men are reporting this stuff? Men don't report this stuff. Women report this stuff. It pays to be a victim if you're a woman. It doesn't pay to be a victim to be a man because you'll be shamed, ridiculed, and inevitably nothing will be done about it. Okay? And you'll just ru end up ruining your life. So just because men don't report these things doesn't mean that it doesn't happen to men. From what I've seen, it happens to men just as much, if not more, because women think they can get away with it. And by the way, they can, because oftentimes if he does say something, she'll just say, oh, no, he raped me. Always believe her, never believe him narrative. Totally discourages men from reporting being sexually harassed, while at the same time, it empowers women to sexually harass all they want. Oh, but they're not taking advantage of that. Yeah, they've taken advantage of every other single solitary advantage given to them by the feminist system that exists. But they, they're not taking advantage of that one. No, their morals are just too high for them to abuse their power. Uh-huh, yeah. What are you smoking, honey? What an idiot. If you get more women in office, if you get more women in positions of authority, we can take over ever faster. How we can have men living in cages by the end of the century? You're less likely to have issues where someone is pulling out their penis at an appropriate time at the workplace. So you're trying to take one incidence of one guy, that's the same as me, saying, well, one woman raped some baby, some boy, some five-year-old, some 10-year-old, some 12-year-old. So now that justifies me throwing all women out of office and it all being men. Hmm. If I said that, wouldn't I be called sexist? Huh? Wouldn't that be called misogynistic? Man, woman hating. Oh, but she says that about men. Perfectly okay. Uh huh. Nestle told WWJ's Charlie Langton. I'm not saying that all men are right. Yeah, you just. Well, yeah, you are. You just said get all women out, put all women in positions of power. Nobody with a penis. Contradicting yourself, honey, to try and make yourself sound acceptable. But two sentences ago, you just said the opposite. And I'm certainly not saying that women are incapable of sexually harassing. You just, yeah, you did. Fed up with allegations of sexual assault in the workplace. This will that most of the perpetrators of men say sex scandals rarely ever involve women. Rarely meaning none in her mind. Trust me. And I'm certainly not saying that women are capable of sexual harassing. Yeah, you are. But I know for many years, seven is an assistant prosecutor prosecuting sex crimes. Honestly, the vast, vast majority of cases do involve men. Yeah, false allegations in many cases. And in many cases, men don't come forward. Most cases, in fact, they don't come forward. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen equally. You just don't see it as much. So when you're dumb, biased mind, it doesn't happen. So I thought the point needed to be made. What point? You said get penises out of office. All penises, you cunt. Well, I say, because the majority of rapists are women, we need to get women out of office. Oh, no, you can't say that. Oh, you don't have any evidence for that. You don't have any evidence for what you're saying either, you dumb bitch. Oh, well, you don't need it, though, because it's all right to demonize men. We just can't demonize women, even when we have evidence to do so. In an ad prompting, promoting her candidacy, Nestle seems to substitute the word man with penis. Yeah, well, of course. Because only men have penises. While she admits the ad might be attention grabbing, she says it doesn't change her message. Well, yeah, her message is to get men out of politics. See, I love how leftists do this. They make these broad general statements, all men, and then say later, oh, no, it's not all. I'm not talking at all. There's some that are good. No, you really believe that all. You're just adding that little caveat at the end so that people won't continue trying to call you on the fact that you really believe that it's all of them. 
She goes on to say, it's an anatomically correct word. I know this. I know that for some reason it seems to be offensive to some people. Vagina! Vagina! It's not offensive to me, honey. I think that you saying it, though, is offensive. What you said, the message you sent, is offensive. It's the message that bothers me. But it really is just a part of the human anatomy for males, a part which I hate and at the same time envy because I don't have it, and he's stronger than me and smarter than me, and I can't deal with that. So I need to get him out of office any way possible because I'm too fucking stupid to compete with him. So I'm going to label him a demon. Yes, this is tongue-in-cheek. But again, it was to mirror something that's unfortunately a reality. No, it's not a reality, cunt face. It's not even a reality statistically. I've looked at the statistics. It's even Stephen down the line. Where do you represent this as the reality? Show me the stats. I'll show you mine. I guarantee you mine are more convincing. We're facing, and we're hearing about it all day, every day. That's because the media only talks about that. The media doesn't report the news. The media is a propaganda source that only reports on things that will push their agenda. Nestle said, ultimately, there's no need for more women in elected office. Oh, there's a need for women more than elected office. I misread that, obviously. There's a need. Why is there a need? Why is there a need? Oh, because there's not as many. There's not as many. Oh, could it be that there's not as many women in office as men because they don't want to serve in office? Oh, no. That couldn't be it. It couldn't be that women have preferences and they don't want the stress and the headache and all the work and what a difficult job that is and, you know, they want a more balanced life. No, it can't be a biological thing. It can't be that women have different desires, wants in life. No, no, no. It has to be that there's some kind of a systematic discrimination that's keeping them out of those positions. Yeah. And by the way, who in their right mind, but wh wh why is it necessary for there to be a, a parody? Why is it necessary for there to be parity between men and women in elected office? Who's developed this foundational premise that you have to have equal representation of something to reach an ideal? Where did this idea come from? This is just a total, this is just total sophistry. It's total bullshit. This is just made up nonsense. Somebody come up with this idea. Where did it come from? Why is this your foundational premise? It is 100% totally flawed. Totally fucking flawed. The matter of the fact is, in Michigan, only 20% of our legislators are comprised of women. So fucking what? Who cares? That doesn't mean anything. Tell me why you have to have equal representation. Tell me. We know that the fewer women you have in positions of authority, the more likely you have you are to see this type of abuse. No, no, that's not the case. How do you know that? Show me the studies. Show me the evidence. You're just saying this as if it's true. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. There's no truth to what you're saying. You're just making that up. You're just giving your opinions, which is based on your dogma, okay? It just doesn't happen nearly as much when you have women in positions of... <laughs> sure it does. Men just don't report it, you stupid cunt. Ay, ay, ay. And we need to have equal representation. Oh, of course that got thrown in there. Of course it did. I think we would see a lot less of these sex scams. You think, because you're a moron, and I guarantee if we tested your IQ, we would find it subpar. You got into law school because you're a woman. You got into college easy because you're a woman. You probably studied gender studies. You're an idiot, okay, who now wants to be the attorney general. Yeah, let's not let this cunt be attorney general, okay? Look, who has, look at what's happened to men in society. Do not vote for this bitch. So let me know what you think of this cunt in the comment section of this video. And please like and subscribe and donate to my Patreon if you feel so inclined. As you know, YouTube will demonetize this video 100%. I am the McTough Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.